International Movement Chairman Carl Kulmer says that the FNM administration is poised to bring prosperity this year as they plan to move the country in the right direction. In a press statement, Mr. Kulmer recounted the challenges the FNM administration met when elected in May 2017, charging that the Progressive Liberal Party spent five years destroying the economy and the country through greed. Mr. Kulmer said that the Minnis administration is rolling up its sleeves and went to work with the goal to bring financial stability back to the country. Mr. Kulmer said that, quote, in just seven short months, the FNM government started the right ship and have taken positive steps in the right direction. Now we plan to build off of that progress. We will not lose focus and know that together we can keep making strides to reach a better future for all citizens of the Bahamas, end quote. Mr. Kulmer said that the government is committed to working hard each day to create an economy in communities across the country that will allow Bahamians to secure a better life. The Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture expresses its condolences to the family of the late Patricia Bazard, who served in the Cultural Affairs Division of the Ministry from 1972 when she joined the Community of Affairs Division in the Ministry of Education. In a press statement, Mrs. Bazard's contributions to culture were outlined and poised her as a cultural icon. Mrs. Bazard served from 1976 to 1991 as the organizer for the National Arts Festival and was instrumental in the revitalization of the festival. The statement went on to say that th throughout her life, she exuded Bahamian culture. The ministry expressed gratitude to Mrs. Bazard, who mentored many cultural artists through her passion and creativity. A memorial was held at Salem Baptist Church last evening. Mrs. Bazard will be laid to rest on Friday at 10 a.m. at Salem Baptist Church. Stay with us. We have sports and weather when we return.